What's the key to not put too much pressure? You kind of know in the situation you're at within the league and trying to host the regional. Um, I mean, it's I mean, it, right now. It's uh, like the best time of the year. Uh, just getting to come out here and play baseball. No school. Um, so we're just going to come out here and try to. Uh, stay relaxed and uh, just have fun, and just it, we know it's going to take care of itself. So we're not going to try to do, do too much or come out of our approach. Uh, Dave says he's, he's starting Trevor Friday night to give uh, Wayne a little extra rest. How do you guys feel about Trevor starting game one? I mean, great. We felt great about him all year. I mean, he went, hit a little rough, rough patch, but um, we all know how good he can be. So um, we're really excited about that. It's going to be a great pitching matchup Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Really, I don't know if you can tell that much out there. It's second, what, what's he doing to shut out? SEC teams for 12 innings in a row. Uh, in my opinion, I think that he's using his fastball as his out pitch, and um, that's his best pitch by far. I mean, I've, I've hit off of it, and it's it jumps on you and it rises, it seems like. So um, I think that he's trusting that a lot more, and he's just keeping people off balance. What's it like seeing him come back, though, from some of the midseason struggles he had in his last two outings outside of that first inning? Um, it's great. Uh, you know, he's, he's, he's a really level-headed kid. And we all knew it was going to happen. Um, and we were all kind of like, wow, I can't believe this is happening, that Trevor's getting hit around. And just because of how good he is, we've seen him in the fall. So him coming back and just showing how tough he is um, shows how tough he is. He gets a four runs in that first thing. It's still Mitch thinking, man, it's going to be a short. And then he sticks around for another five innings. Right. Well, what would you think about the way he handled that situation? I mean, it was, it was huge. That's just, that was his turning point. Um, I think he was fed up with getting hit around, and he took it to him is what he, what he needed to do. So. Um, it, it was big for us. He seems like a kind of a quiet guy. What's he like around you guys? Yeah, he's he's quiet, but um, at the same time, I mean, he's like he'll he's not afraid to like talk and uh, be vocal. But he's definitely more of a reserved kind of guy. Kind of hard to believe it's the last um, regular season home series, anyway. Yeah, um, it's it seems like this has been a super short series, but um, or year. I know it flies by. I, I say that after after every year, so um, it's. it's just, we're, we're glad to have the uh, the last one here, for I bet, sure. I bet it feels a lot shorter than last year, right? Yeah, for sure. Uh, last year was a was tough, but last year was last year. So. What's the approach like for you this weekend as a redshirt junior and maybe your last weekend at Arkansas? Uh, well, nothing's guaranteed. Um, I'm just focusing on winning the games. Um, I'm not going to be focused on saying this might be my last series here or anything like that. Um, I expect us to host a regional, so I don't think it's going to be our last series here. Um, but... We'll see. How big a focus is that trying to host a regional and finish this thing out strong? To do um, well, you know, it's it's we're not, we're not trying to like think about it like that. Um, it's more of like let's just play our game and uh, the rest will take care of itself. So um, our goal was to win the the West this year. It wasn't to host a regional or anything like that, even though that would be great. But um, we're just focused on winning these last two series and then going to the SEC tournament and trying to win that tournament. The West is still up for grabs. Right. I mean, just how much have you guys talked about that the last couple? Of weeks? Um, you know, it's just kind of like locker room talk. We sit up there and we look at the standings and um, say you make some some different situations, like if State lost or Auburn lost or LSU lost this weekend. So, um, like I said, the only thing we can control is how we we um, we go about our business and our approach towards towards these last two weekends. But this weekend's the most important one because it's the next one. So, any concerns about going from nine games in eleven days to like two games in two weeks as far as being rusty or? Uh, none, none at all. Um, I think it's really good for us. We had a pretty tough uh, little go around there when we had to play back to back to back a bunch of games. So um, the rest is great. Um, everybody's getting to get their their homework and their finals done. So um, no one's really rushed right now, which is re- a really good feeling, and everybody's uh, feels fresh. You had the most innovative way of uh, killing time last week when you played four hours out of seventy-two. <laughs> um, man, I don't think there was anybody. I think we all just sat in the hotel room and. Just sat there in bed and watched movies. So, um, Fletcher obviously kind of broke out. What mm-hmm. would you think of, of his weekend? How big is that for you guys? If he can obviously, you know, keep stay hot. Um, you know, it's huge. I mean, it, you look back at it. He was the he was the difference in the last weekend in the split. So, um, just having him as a as a center fielder, like we know who he he can play. And um, co- oh, sorry, coming out and. Uh, being able to actually perform was was huge. Um, I mean, we obviously saw that he's good enough to do that in the beginning of the season. I think he just hit the kind of freshman slide. I mean, everybody goes through it, so um, people started understanding what his what his approach is and how to pitch to him. But he's he's a smart kid and he's a uh, he's he's way above way above his years. So he's going to figure it out. He'll be really good. All year long, you guys have had Blaine Knight starting on Friday. Now you have him starting on Saturday. Is there an adjustment for that? Um. You know, not really. Um, it's we, regardless of who's starting that day, it's going to be a tough, 
tough games. I got two guys that are coming here, really three guys that can come in here and um, really light up the radar gun. So um, they're, uh, it's it's going to be a fun matchup, but I don't think there's really a, a, a difference or a change that we have to make. So there's nothing defensively that you guys do different for Trevor that you do? No, sir. We just we just we know that um, they're both going to get a lot of strikeouts and uh, just to be on our toes and um, that's about it, really. What was your take on Vandy? They're obviously a you know high quality program, right? Um, I mean, they're in the College World Series. It seems like every year. So, um, Coach Corbin over there has has definitely got it um, going on at, at Vandy. But um, I know they're having a pretty good year. Um, they've had some struggles, but um, they're going to be good. And it's not no one we can take lightly. Going from contacts to glasses, especially at the plate. Well, um, so what happened was I found out that I actually had something bad with my my eyes, and um, LSU I tried to wear, wear contacts and I couldn't get used to them. So um, I played the two weeks without glasses, and then finally got these glasses. And it's, I mean, it's I I can't imagine like ever not playing with them. Like it's incredible how much better I see the ball. And so are those prescription? Yes, sir. They always look like goggles. I guess they're like, like athletic glasses. Or yeah, I guess so. But they're, yeah, they they have prescription. Yeah. So. Just, kind of adjustment was it and, and you said you see it better now and just uh, well especially at night I can see pick up spin a lot better and um, when I'm standing out at second base I can um, I didn't really realize how blurry the, the batter actually was so um, being able to see clearly is it's just it's a big weight off my shoulders so there was something with the contacts that was affecting your eyes or I well actually I the first game I tried to wear them was LSU and I couldn't get used to them just because they're tough to get used to so these are just easier so you didn't wear glasses or contacts before that uh-uh. It was just somebody said, "Hey, you need to get your eyes checked." It was actually my mom because um, my brother, his eyes kind of went bad when he was 22. So she was like, "You know what? Let's just get him checked." Um, so we went and got him checked, and she was right. Moms are always right. Is it? I've been wearing glasses since I was in like, first grade. Is it weird for you? I know it. I kind of feels weird having somebody. Yeah, you know. it's it's a little weird, but um, you know, I'm I've actually kind of really liked it because I realized like how much better I can see, and now like I don't really like not having them on. So. So if you have another pair you wear around? Uh, I have some on the, on the way, yeah. Okay. So were you surprised at how well you were playing for the most part? Uh, without the glasses? Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I think it was just mainly I'm just so used to it. I think I've, um, for as long as I can remember, my eyes have been the same way. So um, just coming out here and getting used to them and, like, being able to see the spin and really slow, it slows the game down. So. You know, I kinda, those are pretty cool looking. They Appreciate look, it. Uh, I 